In this video, we will design a shell and tube heat exchanger with two shell and two tubes passes. The purpose of this tutorial is to use as many design model or features as possible. First, open a new project. Set the units as millimeters. Draw a new sketch in any plane. The strategy is to start with shell and then keep on adding different features to obtain the required geometry. We can make upper half of heat exchanger and then mirror it to obtain lower half as they will be similar. Draw half of the cross section of shell and then extrude it. Shell has 310 mm diameter and 1500 mm length. Extrude the sketch. We will keep the extrusion 20 mm extra to cut flanges from it. Draw another sketch. Then draw a single tube the similar way. Tubes have 19 mm diameter. The tube can be kept at any distance from the walls depending on the design. But we will keep the clearance equal to that of between the tubes. Triangular pitch of tubes is 23.8 mm, which gives tube to tube clearance of 4.8. Extrude the sketch. Keep the bodies as frozen, otherwise, the tube and shell would become a single body. Draw another sketch. As we need a triangular arrangement of tubes, we will first draw a line at 60 degrees angle to pattern the tubes along it. Now, keep on repeating pattern command until required number of tubes have been achieved. Select all bodies, then deselect the shell while holding control. Hide the shell by pressing F9 key on keyboard, so the tubes can be selected with ease. Again, the number of tubes depends upon the design, but we will fill the whole shell for illustration purposes. Press Shift plus F9 to show the hidden bodies again. Now subtract tubes from shell. Go to Create and select Boolean option for this purpose. For subtracting, select the shell as target body and bodies that need to subtract it as tool bodies. Select all bodies, then deselect the shell while holding Control. Remember to preserve tool bodies, otherwise all tubes will just disappear. To create a flange, make a plane at 10 mm distance from the base plane. Go 
Go to Create and select Slice option to slice the shell in two different bodies. Select the body to be sliced and then the plane from where you want to slice it. Suppress the flange as we are only interested in fluid domain. Repeat the process again for a flange at the other end of geometry. Draw another sketch. Now create an extrude from where fluid will enter the lower side of shell. Make sure the dimensions are correct and sketch a symmetric across the vertical axis. To mirror the bodies, create a plane at the middle of this extrude. Let's create a plane from face this time. To do that, select the face and create new plane. Transform it 5 mm in the z-axis. Remember that this is not the global z-axis. Whenever we create a new plane, its z-axis is always perpendicular to itself. Let's first create the baffles. Create a plane at 300 mm from the global xy plane and draw shape of baffle in it. Draw another sketch. Close the sketch. Now pattern this baffle at a distance of twice the baffle's pitch.
In between them will come an inverted baffle which needs to be designed separately. Now subtract the baffles from shell by creating another boolean. But this time, don't preserve the tool bodies as only flow regime is needed. Repeat the process for inverted baffles. While sketching at different faces, Design Modeler does not read and use features behind the sketch as reference, which sometimes becomes quite irritating. So, give dimensions to each line and curve instead of just drawing them close to features behind the sketch and hoping it will set the correct dimensions itself. Front header of tubes has different shapes for different heat exchangers. Instead of creating a complex geometry, just simply extrude the semicircle sketch of shell. Try to avoid making intricate features of original design that may not have significant effect on the flow. Go to Create, Body Transformation, and then select Mirror to mirror the whole geometry about the previously created mirror plane. Create a plane at the other ends of tubes to create the rear header. Draw another sketch. Make a closed sketch of half the cross section of shell.
Revolve this sketch. First select the sketch then the line or axis about which you want to revolve it. Then the angle of revolution. Design modeler always takes this angle as anti-clockwise with respect to the specified edge. Create an entrance region for shell. First, create a plane. Draw another sketch. Then sketch in it. Select Extend Type as to Faces and select the face of shell as its end. Mirror this body to create a shell exit. Select all the bodies and define them as liquid. In the end, select all the bodies and make a new part. All the features were kept as frozen. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. New tutorials will be uploaded soon. Thank you for watching.